Jeff Rappaport. Ooh, Merlin. <laughs> Hi, Jeff Rappaport. We're back with more Red Rules TV. I don't know if you guys have been following the uh, American Idol show. No, no, never, never heard of it. Uh, Eric A.K. from Flotsam and Jetsam. His son was actually on that show. Really? His name is Creighton Fraker. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he was actually adopted. Aww. And uh, he was raised as a preacher's kid, singing church music, but he always Wait. felt like he... What's wrong? What the hell's going on here? We're talking Frighten, about Frighten, the preacher's kid who was adopted. Wait, the guy, right. the guy from Flotsam and Jetsam is a right. preacher? No. Oh. The son was adopted. So he had the kid, but he somebody put him, up for, him. put him up for adoption. Oh, okay. And later on, the kid who always wondered, because the kid always had rock and roll in his heart, uh -huh. later on found out that Eric A.K. was his father. Is that a singer from Flotsam and Jetsam? Yep. Okay, I mean, and, like, you know, if the bass player has a kid, you kind of like, and he starts singing, you're like, oh, well, you know. No, it was actually the singer, and, right. he, and he found out that uh, later on that that was his father. He's like, oh, that's why I was into rock and roll. Mm -hmm. But we're sorry to say he did not make the top 24. No? I mean, he made the top 24, he did not make the top 12. Oh. That's still pretty good, though. Still pretty damn pretty good, bad. yeah, yeah. So, so maybe his dad could help him out with his music career, huh? I think it'd be cool, yeah. Yeah, because Flotsam and Jetsam, they're just lighting up the charts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, good, that's a good idea. They probably know somebody. No, I, oh, so I got a Flotsam and Jetsam story too. You yeah. Right. So we were on tour with uh, Lamb of God, right? It was in 2001. Yeah. We were sharing. We were six feet under Lamb of God, and we were sharing a tour bus with Lamb of God. And we uh, we had a day off, and we played this this venue in Virginia called Jacks, which is like right outside of DC. I heard of that place. It's a cool place. J A X X. Super metal, like right? all the met like super metal shows go there, and uh, we got there a day early. From our show, so we like, oh, we'll hang out at the, at the place in Flotsam and Jetsam was playing. And there were literally like eight people in the crowd. Aww. And I got, and I was, and they were not good. I'm sorry. I don't know, maybe it was the original. Maybe it was like one dude who was like, yeah, we Flotsam and Jetsam. I don't know. But we're just Flotsam. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was Jetsam. Do you, know, you think they lost their enthusiasm because there was only eight people there? And yo, you would all lose your enthusiasm. <laughs> eight people. I, felt, I felt bad with them, but I was like, damn, it's... It's rough. Music business is rough, you know. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I'm not hating on Flotsam and Jetsam. I hope you guys are winning in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're kid, you gotta, you gotta take that kid, manage, manage him. You know what? They're they're kind of famous because the guy in Jason 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 because the guy yeah. in Metallica used to play for them. Yeah. Now they had a couple good albums though. They I, did they? Yeah. They did a couple albums in, for Metal Blade. Meet Elroy, and that was a good one. Was that an album? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Jetson. It's a Jetsons. Oh. It's bad, George bad, Jetson. Jetson. It's a bad pun. Ignore that. I like it. Move on. Boy, Elroy. Move on. Mm -hmm. Daughter, Judy. Jane. His wife. Ding, you ding, ruined ding, it ding, now. Ding, 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 you ding, killed ding. the joke. Right okay. into the ground. So anyways, they had a couple albums. Uh, I think one of the albums is called My God. Or I believe something. You. I know they had, they had two or three albums in a row. Mm -hmm. When I first started doing Metal Rolls magazine, so it was about... 97, 98, 99, they had like two or three good albums in a row that were really good. Mm -hmm. But no, most of their, like, the, the earlier stuff, even the stuff that Jason Neustadt was on, I, I wasn't like really crazy about it. No Place for Disgrace and the other couple albums that they had out. Right. They were always okay. They are always a band. And actually when I met Eric A.K., he was kind of a cock. Yeah? I mean, he was kind of a cock when I met him. Well, maybe so, he should. He was like, you know who I used to be in a band with? Yeah. <laughs> The I guy mean, that used to be in Metallica. <laughs> I'm just saying, we interviewed their bassist, and uh, I was looking for the guy, and I guess apparently the guy was right there. I had no idea what he looked like. And, sure, And, and that Eric A.K. fucked with me and told me he was someplace else, so, I don't know, so, yeah. whatever, so his son's not on the show anymore. The end. The end. <laughs> good luck for that guy, you know. All right. But the guy sounded, actually, his son sounded pretty good, and uh, Flotsam just had three good albums in the 90s, thank you. Well, maybe his son will have a few more. And I'm better. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>